Hi, welcome to my channel EasyML. In this video, we will evaluate whether the principal components are independent or not. If you can recall, one of the prerequisites of PCA is that the variables have to be linearly correlated or interrelated in other words. So, before performing PCA, we looked at the correlation matrix to check whether the variables were interrelated. From this very correlation matrix, we concluded that the variables height, weight and age are highly correlated amongst one another and are hence eligible for PCA. Now, if you recall in the previous videos, we saw that the variables were loaded into principal components. Now, let us take a look at how these principal components are correlated amongst one another. Now, below, I have another correlation matrix after PCA. Here, the correlation amongst the principal components is almost zero, suggesting that these principal components are independent. Recall, the aim of PCA was to convert linearly correlated variables as indicated in the correlation matrix on top into a new set of variables that are uncorrelated as indicated in the correlation matrix at the bottom. Remember that the same three variables that is height, weight and age are just represented in different forms that is principal components that is PC1, PC2 and PC3. This brings us to the end of PCA. In the next video, we will see how PCA models can be built on the IRIS dataset in R. Thank you and stay tuned.